Let's take a look at solving special systems of linear equations. Now, just by the fact that I say special systems of linear equations, you got to know that something interesting is going to be happening with these. So, let's just remember the different ways that we can solve systems of linear equations. We have three. We could solve by graphing them, we could solve by elimination, or we could solve by substitution. Now, depending on how they look and what your preference is you could use any of those methods for these situations let's take a look at them and, and see what seems like a good method first of all for this one my first guess is gonna be well check this out I've got 2x here and y here so I'm gonna kinda lean toward elimination here because I'd be able to easily distribute a negative through here and then just add vertically and then we're gonna get some stuff to cancel out which is what we want so let's use elimination on that one on this one as I look at it it's already solved for y so it would be pretty easy to graph I could distribute that through I could get that one solved for y as well and do that or substitution it's set up pretty nice for that as well so let's do substitution on this one elimination on that one some good review on those methods as well okay so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna distribute a negative through this one because that's gonna get those opposites in actually in this case both the X's and the Y terms are gonna be opposites of each other then I'll be able to add vertically and something magical is gonna happen here well not necessarily magical but interesting so take that negative 1 through here so it's gonna be negative 2x and then negative 1 times Y would be negative Y and then we've got negative 1 times 1 it's gonna be negative 1 so then when I add vertically 2x minus 2x is 0 y minus y is 0 so this whole side is 0 equals negative 3 minus 1 would be negative 4 now yikes we lost all our variables so what does that mean well that means there's something special going on here and if we end up with something that's not true like here for example 0 is not equal to negative 4 what I want to do is, well, that's going to mean there's no solution to my system. Because I lost all the variables, I ended up with something that's not true, so that means there's no solution to that system. Okay. Now, if we think a little bit more about this, what that also means is that these two lines are parallel to each other. And if we did just a little bit of work with that, if we subtracted 2x and put them in slope-intercept form, so I'm going to go back to my original equations, check this out. I'm going to subtract 2x from the top one, and then write it in y equals mx plus b slope-intercept form. Check this out. We have y equals negative 2x plus 1. Subtract 2x here. We're going to get y equals negative 2x minus 3. Now, what do we know about parallel lines? They have the same slope, but different y-intercepts. And remember, when we're graphing equations, and systems of equations specifically, we have to look for that where they overlap. That's where the solutions are. And with the same slope, but different y-intercepts, they're never going to overlap, because they're going to go, in this case, it's a negative slope, so it's going to be something like that and something like that. They're never going to touch their parallel because of that same slope but different intercepts. So it makes sense that there's no solution. All right, let's take a look at this second uh, set of equations that we've got here. And again, this one we said we we're going to use substitution. So we're going to take, remember, we've got a y equals thing. So I'm going to put this whole thing in place of y in my second equation. So my second equation then becomes 2 times x plus 1 minus 2x equals 2. Okay, so I took this whole thing right here and it said y equals that. So anytime I see a y in my other equation, I can plug it right in there. So that's what I did. Now, <coughs> let's simplify this. We've got this thing. We need to distribute that 2 through there. So we have 2x plus 2 minus 2x 
equals to, okay, combine like terms, 2x minus 2x, uh, oh, that's 0x, so we have 2 equals 2. Oh, we lost our variables. Notice what we have this time. 2 equals 2, well, that's true. So that means it's not all numbers. Sometimes people want to say, well, that's all numbers. No, it's not all numbers. It's infinitely many solutions. And let's talk about why that is in just a second here. First of all, if we wrote each of those in slope-intercept form, to take a look at those, the first one is almost there already. We just distribute the 2 through. So we have y equals 2 times x plus 2. Then the second one, if I added 2x, took that 2x over there, look at this, y equals 2x plus 2. It's the same equation. So if we were to graph those, they would be right on top of each other, something like that, right on top of each other. Well, remember, the solutions are where the lines are overlapping, and in this case, they're overlapping everywhere along the line. Now, it's not all numbers because there's a whole bunch of ordered pairs on either side of this line that don't work, but it's infinitely many because, remember, on a line, it extends forever in both directions. So that's where the infinitely many piece comes in. All right, so solving special systems of linear equations, situations where we lose the variables. Well, it all comes down to what we're left with after we lose the variables. In this case, we were left with something that is not true, which means there's no solution. This is where we have parallel lines. They're never going to cross. Or the second situation that we could have is we end up with something that's true. In this case, 2 equals 2. Well, that means it's infinitely many solutions. Again, not all numbers, infinitely many solutions. And then if we put them into uh, slope-intercept form, we notice it's actually the same line. So they cross everywhere because they're right on top of each other. I hope this video was helpful. Keep working hard on your math. You can do it.